It is 2019. 2019. I'm taking the sunglasses off today. It is now a new year. And oh! Also, it's now been 10 years now. No, 10 years of what? 10 years of making videos on YouTube. So welcome to my 10 year story. This is where I talk about sort of myself, sort of about my history of being on YouTube for the past 10 years. Well, it has been over 10 years because I made this account. I think it's, yeah, if you look at the starting date, it started 2008. April the 30th, I started this video. I'm sorry, I started this channel. Now, starting this channel meant a lot of things for me. Like, oh, I could start making videos. I could start making st things. But guys, let me just tell you this. I know you guys are probably sitting at your computers saying, dude, I don't want to hear your boring ass, you know, life story of YouTube. Well, just listen for once. I mean, this is probably my first time I ever am going to talk about myself. You know, my history of making videos, my history of making what I wanted to make for YouTube when I first started. Now let me firstly tell you this. When I was eight years old, I wanted to make movies. There was one movie called Face Off. Yes, the Nicolas Cage, John Travolta movie, which, hold on one sec, this movie. And you're probably saying, so wait, weren't you like eight or nine when this movie came out? Well, yes, I was. This movie inspired me to be a filmmaker. I wanted to make movies as a kid. As I didn't know how I was going to make them, what type of effects I would have, or what I have to do, learn how to do stock, stop motion. I wanted to make movies. I don't know how I was going to do it, but I wanted to do it really bad. And movies like Face Off inspired me to be a filmmaker. So, so starting that year, I begged, I mean, begged my mom. I begged her every single birthday, every single Christmas, every single time it came, I came to, came to her, please, please get me a video camera. I really want to make movies. But it has the problem back in the day. Most video cameras were expensive as hell, honestly. And it was like every Christmas, every birthday, got the same response. Alex, I can't get you any video cameras because they're expensive. So, then came 2006. I didn't get my camera. But, I discovered YouTube. I discovered YouTube at the age of 17, turning 18, or whatever. But during that time, I was like, wow. Wow! Wow! I could make a video and post it on the internet. And post it for people on the internet to watch. I'm like, wow, this gives me so many great ideas to do. But now, during that time, I was like, well, do I have the gear to make videos? No. But that's when I started again with my mom saying, Mom, can you please get me a video camera for next Christmas or birthday or whatever? Of course, my mom was like, well, this time she was like, okay, all right. Maybe that might be a possibility I can probably do, because during the time we had digital cameras. You know, the ones that look like, hold on one sec. The ones that look like these during the time. Don't worry, this is busted, so I don't use it in my movies. Oh, it's so sticky. But either way, I want to make, well, 
I mean, at first I was like, I'm trying to think about making movies, you know, during this time because I had so many ideas I really wanted to do. So many ideas. But, you know, I had to be patient. So I had, I went to a career, um, well, this was just, well, the abbreviation was CAR, but it, the abbreviation means Career Advanced Resource to help me, you know, get me, get me a job, get me, um, get me a, um, school. Now, I'm not going to go into any further, but the guy told me that, well, if you want to learn how to make movies, you're going to have to go to film school. So, of course, I thought maybe I should go to film school. But this was the only time I was like, no, no. I do not want to go back to school. I'm done with school. I did my last... I did my whole entire years, my whole entire 12 years of being in school. And I wanted to do something different and try to get a job so I can probably make money or probably make all types of stuff. But either way, I wanted to make movies. And also make... Sh reviews so the rating was like reviews movies reviews movies it was kind of weird during that time so then came 2008 where I finally made now at first I'm gonna tell you this my original account was vertical spy 16 16 it was originally called. But apparently, you know, I guess some things happened, so the video got, so the site got taken down. I didn't have enough time to make a video when I had that account, so the account was gone. Had to make another account, try to figure out how to keep that, basically. So then later I, you know, kept, I made the, the account. But the one thing that was a big issue, I didn't have a camera. So pretty much the story is come finally 2008 on Christmas when I was still 20 years old, I finally got a video camera and already an explosion of happiness came to me. So pretty much I played around with this camera kind of you know figure out where I can place the thing because I didn't have a tripod. I didn't even know what a tripod even was during the time. So either way my story is I wasn't sure if I was capable of being you know a YouTuber. So I tried the best I can that beginning year. So that beginning year was the one thing I wanted to review or talk about so bad. A movie that I really was looking forward to before I saw its trailer. <sighs> Street Fighter Legend of Chung Lee. Yes, this was my first video I actually made. Now I made a, my first sort of video I did was me cussing the living hell out of this movie. Apparently, I thought, showed this to my mom, she was like, eh, maybe you should do that again, minus without all the cussing. So, I decided not to be too infuriatingly angry and try to be more calm, cool, you know, being calm and cool while kind of being, like, kind of you know, swearing, but not swearing in an angry sort of way. So the video you may remembered, or probably might not remembered, was... Uh, I kind of was good. Kind of. But... I didn't felt good. I just felt like, oh, I was kind of taming myself on making the video. So when it came down to the actual video of doing it, you know, there were several things I made wrong. I, did, I didn't get any characters right at all. But 
Then came the review, which is still on my channel, so if you want to go watch it, go ahead and watch it. But the one video I really, dead straight, dead freaking straight, wanted to do that bad. I wanted to make a video about them making a live action Sailor Moon movie. Roll the footage. I don't want to talk about this topic. I really don't. So if you guys were there with me during that time, you already figured out that, hey, he's a big fan of the Nostalgia Critic. Yes, the Nostalgia Critic was my inspiration. There was Nostalgia Critic, James Rolfe, but then later there was Chris Studman. Both, ang both Angry Video Game Nerd and Nostalgia Critic were my inspirations for you making YouTube videos. But also making rants, there was also Hellsing920, as you know him as Emer Prevost, Pre I don't know, it's kind of hard for me to say his name, but I know he's dead now. But he was also my inspiration of making rant videos. So pretty much, I had a lot of inspiration from most people on the internet. So I wanted to do my inspiration and try to make it into an original thing. So my first few videos, they weren't as good. They just me just pressing the camera on and me pressing the camera off to edit basically. So I didn't so during the time I didn't have editing software. But the editing software I began fluently using was Windows Movie Maker. Windows Movie Maker was a very interesting pattern that I actually used. It was good, it was perfect, and it was everything I really wanted to do. But then there was another issue. Now I used Windows Movie Maker to my other short films. Now yes, what inspired me to make short films? Now what inspired me to get back at doing the idea of doing my own films? Like I said earlier, Chris Stuntman. He was my inspiration. Now I actually took in the time to actually watch his once channel that he had some of his, you know, short films on. He had a few of them. But now you can't really find the channel because he's kind of removed it because of, I guess, for copyright claims. But I took the time to watch some of his, you know, movies. And I'm like, dude, you're good. You're good at this. So then later I decided to, why not? make another account called, a personal account called Spyboy Film. Spyboy Film was my personal account that I personally have on, my, on this other site. Now if you want to go check it out, go right ahead. You know, you can see how I got, you know, progressively better. Now, did, now where they were, now, let's not get ahead. Spyboy Film was where I did all my Lego Men movies. So I was really into Legos during the time. Do I do them nowadays? Do I still have that account? I still have the account, but I'm not caring too much about it, honestly. I'm not, I haven't really made an upload since 2014, so it's whatever. But either way, this is, that's when I got used of using Windows Movie Maker. But now, I'm now using something a lot more better. Now, after the last, I believe, six films I made with Windows Movie Maker, I'm like, okay, I want to kind of step it up a bit. So, I got this. This is um, Quirrell. Uh -huh. As you may have seen, as you see right here. Yeah. So pretty much I was like, well, I'm going to give this a try. But then I gave it a try and it was perfect. Kind of learned how to do things 
personally. Then I had to learn how to do other things, you know, all by myself. So you're probably saying, so wait, you actually had to learn all this all by yourself? You never went to film school? Of course, I never went to film school. I don't have a post saying, oh, I, I got a petition saying, oh, I got like a, I got this from film school or anything like that. Yeah, I didn't get a degree for film school, but I am considering film school in the future. So either way, I really wanted to make videos for the internet, to make quality videos, to make good entertainment. And honest to God, I know you're probably saying, is it kind of hard for me? You know, being a black guy, you know, living in Boston? Yes, it is. It's hard for me. I mean, I wouldn't say it's too hard, but like, you know, being a black guy, meaning, you know, oh, you're going to get a lot of you know, negativity by some people who are like, oh, black guy trying to make himself something. Yeah. I know. I've gotten comments from most people. I've been called the N-word. I've been called retard. I've been called bitch. I've been called... You can name the list out of all lists, basically. You know, retard, bitch, you know, sped fag, you know, all those type of words I've been called over the past few years. You know, is it hard for me as a black guy? Maybe, maybe not. But is it hard if I was white? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. But either way, guys, I loved making videos as a kid. When I was a younger person, you know, I was living in my mom's house, my mom's roof, basically. I was living with my mom the most time. But when it came down to it, I had to learn, I had to be independent. I had to learn how to fend for myself, work for myself, and just work the best way I can probably can. But either way, I really wanted to be more independent. Some people were like, oh no, he's not good at being independent. Why do we have to let him be independent? I know. I've been with a lot of people who don't have the right mind to think he doesn't have the right to be independent. But either way, I still kept on doing this. Like one of my actors, you know, who used to work at my job, you know was telling me, you know, keep making what you keep making what you love doing. Don't let people tell you not to do what you can't do. And also one guy told me to be dominant. So I'm gonna try my best to keep doing what I'm doing. Keep making videos, keep making short films. And who who knows, maybe I might get some recognition. Who knows? Will I probably add more YouTubers on my videos? Could be a possibility. So, I'm just going to keep doing what I do best. Make videos. Make Try to make some more reviews. Try to make some more rants. Try to make some more short films. Any quality short films I can come up with. You know, if you guys like them, you like them. But either way, guys... Thank you for being with me for the last 10 years. I appreciate it. From the bottom of my heart, I really do appreciate you guys. I really appreciate my subscribers. And also, my subscribers, tell people more about my channel, honestly. Go right ahead and tell people, like, hey, you should check this guy's video called Alex the Vertical Spy. He's really good and really talented. You know, kind of get out there, get my name out there, or... If you're one of those people who are like, you know, maybe he could be a YouTube partner. I'm saving that for last, honestly. While being on here. Becoming a YouTube partner. I'm saving that for last. I want to just get my name out there. You know, just get out there. Get known out there. get Keep making videos. And either way, you know, thank you. Thank you for being with me for the last 10 years. Thank you for, thank you for commenting. Thank you for viewing. 
Thank you for everything, my subscribers. And those of you who want to be my subscribers, go right ahead and subscribe. You know, like they say, the more and the merrier. Either way, thank you. For the last 10 years, thank you. And let's make 2019 a much more funner year, honestly. So with that being said, guys, so either way, you guys know my catchphrase. Vertical Spy, outro.